But Precious Price was kind enough to come up from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Precious, good to see you. It's great to see you. I mean, you, is Brian. this the, first off, who's renting this Airbnb in your like who is your tenant that comes in and books this? So typically I have students that are tenants in addition to young professionals. Those are usually the folks that need it. And when you think about Atlanta, there are a huge number of colleges and universities. Are you right shocked at how surprised and successful it's it's been? Honestly, yes. You'd be surprised how many people like how much they were willing to pay, but on top of that, the people that were interested in actually staying in a shed in a backyard just because it's cool. And that covers the costs of your primary home. It covers the mortgage, yes. Which is which is amazing to me. It, in this market, absolutely. Now, you got some tips because I, I think your first tip is critically important. Absolutely. People are watching this going, oh, yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. I'm going to do it. And then they find out they can't because of zoning regulations. Exactly. So make sure that you are checking your zoning regulations. You can give a call to your zoning office or you can just try and look online. That's the best way. And don't go to like Home Depot and buy like one of those pre-sheds, <sighs> right? That like you need a, somebody that knows what they're doing. You need someone that knows what they're doing. And then you also need to connect it to water and electricity. Many people don't think about that with those Home Depot sheds. I would hope with the toilet that would be kind of a vital thing. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's not good. It's not going to work out. It won't. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Bring it to yes. Johnny on the spot here. <laughs> also, return on investment. Yes. So your return on investment can look like a number of things. For a lot of people, this is money, right? Whether that is renting it out on Airbnb, and now, like me, you are covering your mortgage. But for other people, it's, hey, I just want to have my aging parents closer so that they can maybe watch the kids. Yeah, but then you can't make any money. You got to make them pay. That's, I mean, make the, yeah. Make the parents pay. <laughs> you can't make your parents pay. My parents came up this weekend. I was like, you know, I, I should have had that. So, again, now, and you advise people. You're on, like, a board or something that's advising this tiny home movement. So I have a startup called GatherADU.com. Okay. Okay. where we help homeowners who are ready to make this happen, who are ready to leverage their extra space in their backyard to create housing for whatever you want to use it for. Our software helps with that. Gather AD, what's the website? GatherADU.com. Okay, and that basically set, gives kind of your tips. Exactly. And your experience, because I'm sure it hasn't been all super smooth. No. I mean, there's always problems with everything. It's always problems, and if you want to check out those problems, I did a whole docu-series on YouTube called Going Tiny, where I was literally crying about working with contractors and everything. It was insanity. So it e never Even on a 300-square-foot house. Even on a 300-square-foot house. Which apparently probably has one of the highest ROIs of any Airbnb for its size. I love it.